welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Nuni and I'm here today doing an unboxing of the 3D Summer Infant Light Stroller. I'm kind of excited. This was a good deal on Amazon even though it wasn't available in all black for the same price. I didn't really care. We just needed a light umbrella stroller but something that was a little stronger than an umbrella stroller. I heard really good things about this as an option for traveling, to keep in the car without taking up much space, and we decided to give this one a go. So I'm going to do a review for you guys um, and an unboxing, pretty much showing you the features of the stroller and showing you what fits in the storage compartment on the bottom of the stroller, as well as showing you my two-year-old um, and how she sits in the stroller. Before I start this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that before this one, we had the Graco, um, I think it's like a light version as well, Graco. I will insert the name because I don't remember at the moment. But um, that stroller was great and all because it's compact and everything. But the only problem that we had is where the buckle goes um, in the crotch area for my daughter. She hated it, it was too tight. Even on the biggest setting for the straps, she was still too big for that stroller, even though it said it was for weights between 30 something pounds to like 50 something pounds. So that was a no. We're gonna try this one. So I'm gonna also show you in the end um, the difference between the stroller and how I can push it without her on the stroller and with her on the stroller. I'm gonna show you the stroller with um, my bag underneath it and my jacket underneath it as well to see how much we can fit. And also this stroller brings a cup holder. So I thought it would be nice to show how steady that cup holder is. And I'm actually gonna try it out with one of my to-go cups and, and see how that works because in my other stroller, I had bought like a universal cup holder and I remember in the airport, my drink just spilled everywhere and it was a disaster and I was so annoyed. So let's see how this stroller does. And um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like review videos, please let me know in the comments down below or you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Okay guys, so I can already tell Something that I don't like about the stroller. These are um, plastic um, wheels. I really hate plastic wheels, but at the same time, rubber wheels, um, you know, it can start like wasting as well. I, I only want to say in Spanish. My, I'm like thinking in Spanish in my head. Um, but We'll see how it goes because Amazon actually lets you return this um, and try it out for a few months. So let's continue. The lever you have to push down on to open the whole entire stroller. Oh, it's a big size. I like this. The stroller is actually very wide in space. Check it out. Ooh, it's like a switchy material, which is good for spills and things. I don't really like this part of the stroller because this is where her legs will be resting. I feel like it's too close to the it's too close to the footrest, and it's not very cushiony at all. But you guys have to remember that this is a travel stroller. It's not like a comfort jogging stroller. The straps are also cushioned. It does have two levels of for the harness, which is good. It seems very long. Wow, look at that. It lays down like all the way back as well. It's, it lays pretty deep in if they're falling asleep. I really like that part of it. And then you press these two and push it back up. Now for the cup 
cup holder, you just have to align it with this um, little button here. You have to match it with the back here and just slide it down. It doesn't feel very sturdy, honestly. There we go. That clicked on. You see how it wobbles? That's how my coffee spilled in my other... Like, why wouldn't they make it secure with two places, like here, you know? And, like, lock it there. It's so stupid. I'm probably not going to use that part, honestly. Moving on. Okay, so let's try to put the canopy on. Slide on down to this part. Oh. And there's part two. We have to secure this canopy with some Velcro. This feels like a doll stroller that Olivia has. It has Velcro back here as well that connects to this part. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Make sure we secure that. It also has this strap here so when you close it, you can wear it as a bag, which is awesome. Yeah, it swivels very nicely with no child in it, obviously. It does a 360 turn, no problem. As you can see, the front wheels are swivel. This is gonna be great for an airport. And then the back wheels are steady. It does have a brake on the back wheel, each side. And it also has brakes in the front. I wanted to show you the detailing as well. This is a really nice color, in my opinion. Um, I don't really like bright stuff, but this is not bad. So it has these to hold down the canopy, or you need to open it before you close the stroller. Let's get a closer look. The handles are like a foamy material, and it has a grip on the other side, which is also good. They're kind of wide, in my opinion. Like, I feel weird at how wide these handles are. Like, how far away they are. Like, at the same time, I'm a small person. And, like, in the distance, like, my whole entire body fits in the in between the, uh, the stroller handles. Okay, another thing is that it has this back pouch. If you can put your phone in, or let's say you have a smaller vlogging camera, I'm sure that fits in there as well. So the bottom basket, it looked really big online, and for some reason it's actually pretty small in person. Um, I don't know what happened, and I don't know why it said that you could fit so many things under there. But I would be traveling with my Louis Vuitton bag. So this is my purse, I use it as a diaper bag, and let's say... You want to hang your purse for one second. The stroller without a child, it doesn't tip over unless you unless you touch it. Then it's obviously going to fall all over the place. And again, this cup holder kind of sucks. I can already tell. So then, if I wanted to put my bag under here, I don't really feel like it would fit. Let's see if it would fit. All right, it fits back there, kind of squished. I have like a book bag, maybe that would fit. All right, so let's say you're, you're traveling with this backpack. It's a pretty decent sized backpack. And you want it to hang it like this. I feel like that would work. Unless it's too heavy, then it would fall over. But let's say you wanted to keep it under. Let's see how that looks. I feel like you would have to kind of force it in there, but this does fit um, better. I don't know if you can see it because it's black on black, but it does fit nicely in there. But that's about all you can fit in there if you do decide to do a backpack. So let's say it gets warm and you want to place two, a sweater and a jacket down there. Obviously, that fits, um, that fits nicely back there. Let's say you wanted to lean the stroller back. Let's see if that takes up any room. That goes down fine. I feel like it also would go down fine with the backpack as long as you push it all the way. Now as for the cup holder, we usually use cups like this, reusable ones for coffee, and they come with a lid. But let's say that fits um, sort of well in there. 
So it does fit, but this moves around a lot. And, you know, children can be unpredictable if they're off the stroller. What do they tap it? It's going to spill. It's It can literally... Do you see what I'm doing? Like, this was... This is dumb, summer infant. Like, what were you thinking? Another thing I wanted to show you guys was how to close the stroller. So obviously to close it, you wouldn't leave the shade open because then it's going to look too bulky. So make sure you lift these up and push it all the way back. You can close the stroller by hand or by foot. All right, so I zoomed you guys in so you can see. You're going to push down on this lever. It's kind of hard, so you have to push hard. Then you're going to pull this. And then that closes all the way down. And then it locks on both sides. It has these locks. So, I just wanted to show you how tall it looks next to me. So I can be standing like this and holding it with one hand. Um, also, remember I told you about this strap that it brings on the side? so that you can carry it as a backpack. When you're walking from the airport and you're already waiting to board, you have to walk in with your stroller already closed to hand it over to the gate person. So this would work great if you need to hold your toddler with one hand and the stroller with the other. It's kind of uncomfortable, but the walk is gonna be short from where you're sitting into the airplane to hand it over to the gate. So this wouldn't be bad, but in my opinion, I would probably hold it like like this and walk. It's a little bit heavy for me, but I'm like 90 pounds. And um, I rather unlock the wheels and push it into the, to the door, or you can drag it like this to the door as well. So that's, this is awesome that it still moves while it's closed. I think this is great for, for a mom that's traveling alone. To open the stroller, you're going to click on the handle, the lever, the lock. You're going to unlock it, you pull it up. To lock it in place, you're going to keep the lever down with your feet, the lower lever. Um, these come off and they are a little bit cushiony, which is awesome. And I'm sure that these you can throw them in the wash if they ever get dirty. So basically I'm just gonna unhook this from here, from the waist part. Take the blue part out and pull through, all the way through. And then leave those strapped back so that when she comes to sit down. But I also wanted to point out that I hate that this part, like whose waist, Who's going to be comfortable in something like this? Like, I, I don't understand why strollers do this. I don't know if more high-end strollers think things through a bit more. But this is so tiny over here. Imagine you're sitting on there. like, And let's say your whole body can't hold this part back. It's very uncomfortable. But let's see how it looks um, once she is sitting down. I also wanted to point out something that I do like. Compared to my grapple stroller, this part here that holds the lock, um, the main locking compartment where they join, this doesn't come off. And in most strollers, this does come off and it was quite annoying. And I like how wide this is for the crotch area. The one that I had prior to the stroller was very thin and it like would squash her diaper in and make it like leak. She would have like major leaks on that stroller as well. So I'm gonna bring her in now. Say hi. Hi. See, I'm going to try my stroller. I'm going to try my stroller. To see if I like it. I see I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. You like the color? Yeah. All right, let's sit you. Okay. Wow. So she's kind of tall, I think, for her age. Go a little bit past this. So let's see. Put your feet on here. Bend your knees. There's her knees bent, which is not bad. Make sure you have the stroller swiveled with the child on. It's just as easy. The only thing is obviously it's very heavy now because she does weigh 
30, um, I think it was 33 pounds the last time we checked. I wanted to show you guys how it reclines. So I'm going to press those buttons that I told you about to recline the chair. Are you ready, with me? Yeah. I'm going to recline. I'm going to click back here, and it's going to lay all the way back. Are you laying down? Yeah. Yeah, and this is like loose enough. She's sitting down. This um, has enough space. You see, I can stick my hand in there, which is great because it's not going to make the diaper leak. But when she's laying down, it kind of pulls here, as you can see, on the diaper, which is the thing that she hates. But the good thing is that this stroller has three levels, so she can still lay down at here and take a nap like that. The other thing I wanted to test out was if I can push it with one hand. Let's try that. I can push it with one hand, but it's not as easy as having both hands on it, obviously. You have more control over the stroller, but the swivel um, wheels on the front actually really help with pushing it with one hand if you need to. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please press the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.